This is the third video in identifying the name, Lewis structure, polarity, and intermolecular forces of attraction between molecules of NCl3. For part three, we are looking at polarity. From the first video on naming the compound, we discovered that NCl3 is a covalent compound or covalent molecule. The question now becomes, is it a nonpolar covalent or polar covalent molecule? The first step will be to identify if its bonds are polar or nonpolar. Nonpolar bonds in this course that I'm teaching are only between identical atoms or between carbon and hydrogen. So if you have a carbon directly bonded to a hydrogen or hydrogen directly bonded to carbon, those are nonpolar bonds. The electrons in the bonds will be shared equally between the carbon and hydrogen, or if it was two carbon atoms or two hydrogen atoms, they would share electrons evenly in their bonds. I want you to consider bonds between any other two nonmetal or metalloid elements to be polar bonds. Step two, if there is only one polar bond, your molecule is polar. If there are only nonpolar bonds, then the molecule is nonpolar. So that would occur if there's only one element, then it must be a nonpolar molecule. If you have two fluorine atoms or eight sulfur atoms or two oxygen atoms bonded together, because they're between atoms of the same element, the electrons will be shared equally in the bond and the bonds will be nonpolar. You also have bonds between carbon and hydrogen as nonpolar, so if there are only carbons and hydrogen atoms in the molecule, the molecule is nonpolar. Examples of that would be CH4, C6H6, or C2H4. Where it gets a little trickier is if there uh, may be more than one polar bond, then we need to check for symmetry. A shortcut for this is if the central atom has known lone pairs of electrons, this is covered in the previous part two video on drawing the Lewis structure. If it has no lone pairs on the central atom, which will typically be found if you're working with boron, carbon, or silicon, and all outer atoms are the same element, then the molecule is nonpolar. Classic examples are boron trifluoride, BF3, carbon tetrachloride, CCL4, carbon dioxide, CO2, and silicon tetrachloride, SiCl4. For advanced learners, if you have XeF2 or XeF4, those are classic nonpolar covalent molecules due to their geometry. The molecule that we drew, ignoring the lone pairs on the chlorine atoms, the central atom nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons on it, and we have three bonds between the nitrogen and chlorine atoms. Those are polar bonds because they are not between identical atoms, N and Cl are different elements, and it's not between carbon and hydrogen. In this case, there are more than one polar bonds in NCl3, so we need to look for symmetry. The central atom, nitrogen, does have a lone pair of electrons, so the molecule is not symmetrical. Therefore, NCl3 is a polar covalent molecule.